everyone, so today's video is going to be the University of Arizona pros and cons. Before looking into colleges, I really wanted to weigh out the pros and cons of different schools that I wanted to go to and there weren't many videos like this so I thought I would make it for you guys if you guys are going to be seniors in high school and starting to plan what schools you guys want to apply to and hopefully this can give you guys an eye opener of the pros and cons of this school because even though I absolutely love it, no school is perfect and there are definitely pros and cons to everything, especially the colleges you decide to attend because not every school is going to have every little thing that you want. Especially when you guys go to those tour guides, they're not going to really lay out all those negative things about the school. So that's why I kind of wanted to share those with you and my thoughts and opinions with you guys today. And if you guys go to U of A and have any experiences that I didn't mention, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments so other people can check those out and get to know a little bit more about the school if I didn't mention something. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So my first number one pro is the weather. I really don't think you can beat the Arizona weather throughout the school year because I know in the summer it's probably hell and I don't have to experience that. But during the whole school year, the weather is like gorgeous and it is very comparable to California weather. I can promise you that because I'm from California and always am just randomly checking the weather, asking my mom how's the weather here and all that stuff and it's literally like the same and if not the weather is even better in Arizona during the school year. Only in the winter it's like colder, I'd rather have that than it always raining and it being super hot. So yeah of course it's not in like Phoenix, so I know Phoenix is hotter than Tucson so it's not like crazy hot all the time. Only in the very beginning of the year, like the first month or two, it's like really hot. But it's bearable and it's not something crazy. And I'd rather have that and have gorgeous weather throughout the whole year than anything else. So honestly, the weather at in Tucson is like really, really nice throughout the school year. And it's pretty unbeatable. And a con would be like the surrounding area of Tucson. So even when I first toured my junior year of high school, I like didn't care for the outside area of Tucson. It's just not as nice as probably like Phoenix is or anywhere else. But directly around the campus it's really nice. But just when you go kind of further past that it's not so much. But there definitely are really great parts of Tucson that you can go to that are super nice. And the thing is is that it's really a huge city so there are nice parts and bad parts. But it's not terrible. For the next pro it would be like the campus. I love the layout of the campus. It's super easy to get around campus. It is like really all compacted into like one huge like rectangle. So even though it's a larger campus and you do get that like big campus feel, it's still not too overwhelming and you can still get around really easily and get from one end to the other end of campus in probably like 30 minutes. So it's not too crazy huge and it's just really nice that everything is on campus and the campus is gorgeous. Super pretty green and tons of palm trees. It's just, it's a really, really beautiful campus. The second con to some people would be that it does have the reputation of being a party school. So if this isn't something that you're looking for in a school at all and don't really care too much about the social life, you might find the party scene of U of A to be too much and you might not like that. So to some people this is a huge con and might turn a lot of people away. The party scene and social life of U of A is very prevalent and it is a huge reputation of U of A. But don't also let that turn you away because if you aren't into that there are so many other things to do and not everyone who goes to U of A is only there to party, of course. There are people for everything. The next pro is the school spirit. I probably have mentioned this in like 10 other videos of mine, but yeah, I love the school spirit that U of A has. A huge reason why I wanted to go there and I love it. It toured so many other colleges before U of A and I did not feel that school spirit than all the other schools I went to because they're a lot smaller private schools and just like not as huge and school spirited as U of A so if you're looking for that in a school then U of A is a really really good choice for that. The next con is that it can be pretty difficult to get popular classes and even though for some classes it is hard to get into this is kind of being turned into a pro because I also found it really easy to get a lot of my classes. There's probably only one or two classes that I wanted to get my freshman year that were like I didn't get but they were like the most popular classes that everyone wanted and was still able to get like a lot of my other options and comparing to the other people at other schools that I've talked to have said that it's super hard to get classes and a lot of me and my other friends haven't really experienced any of that like too much 
So even though some classes it could be hard to get because it's so huge, there are so many different options so that way you guys can still get all those classes that you need. And I don't think anyone that I know has ever had a problem getting classes that they needed. So it's not hard to get out of that school in four years because I know I've heard at other schools it's really difficult to get the classes that you need to take. So that's why it ends up taking people five years to graduate because it is so hard to get those classes. And at U of A, um, in my experience and a lot of other people's experiences that I know, haven't had that issue and are able to still get the classes that they need to. So that's a con turned into a pro. <laughs> so the next con that I've noticed and a lot of my friends have told me is the parking. The parking is terrible at U of A, I would say, even just experiencing it like with my friends. So I had my car at school this past year, but I didn't drive it to campus. Like I took like the public transportation to get to campus because I didn't want to have to deal with parking every morning. And the parking passes are really expensive. I'm pretty sure they're like over $700. And yeah, I would not want to pay that. So I will say the parking kind of sucks. And then there isn't that many parking structures around the school. Like the ones that are like everyone wants, it's like right in the middle of campus. I'm pretty sure like, like those are only for faculty members. People can't even get into those um, parking structures. So I would just say the parking sucks. You do have like free parking at certain times, but I just wish there were more options for free parking, like huge lots and stuff, because a lot of times you have to pay for parking if you just want to be there for a little bit. And parking is free on the weekends, but during the week, I think there should be way more options for parking. And I don't think the parking passes should be that expensive. So yeah, the parking is a huge con, I would say. The next pro is that there are lots of dorms. So there's so many different like living options for you guys. I think there's over 20 different dorms on campus and there has been so much construction going on campus for a ton of new apartments and student housing which is awesome. That's probably where me and my friends are going to live next year is it's one of the new like apartments because there's so many different options now. It could be pretty expensive because obviously they jack up the prices because they know students want to live in those and they're right across the street from campus but there are so many different options and price points for you guys so you guys could live in a house and that could be a lot cheaper or live in other apartments that are down the street and like a lot less um, expensive than the high rises around campus. So I think a lot of the living options are great. Even for the dorms, there's over 20 options and definitely fit to each person's needs and different price points as well. So that helps a lot. Okay, so the next con is a really terrible con. I hate this about it, but the party scene and the social life at U of A could be super exclusive to Greek life, which is really annoying because if you want to go to certain parties, you have to be in Greek life. I at least know someone like in the fraternities to get to certain parties. And even us being in sororities, it could be hard to even get some of those like wristbands because you need to have a wristband to get into any like fraternity party and even just to get those wristbands. It could be difficult for us to even get those and we're in a sorority. So I just like the exclusiveness of getting into parties is like a huge con if you are wanting to have that social life and could obviously party with your friends and stuff. But if you want to go to those larger fraternity parties, you will have to like know someone either in Greek life or be in Greek life in order to get into those. And that is a huge con. I hate that about our school. But for the pro side, if you are 21, there are so many options for a social and nightlife in Tucson, like downtown, um, on university, and just a ton of different other places around campus that a lot of my friends go to that are 21 and stuff. There's not just two bars that you can go to. If you're 21, there are a plenty, and I heard they're really fun. So that's another option. There is a ton of nightlife and stuff to do for college kids, and I think that's what I like about the school is that it's very college and student-oriented. So yeah, I think you would enjoy that if you're 21. The next con is like very specific, but it's true. Everyone knows this, that our math department sucks. Everyone knows at U of A that our math department's terrible. I don't know why, but I just wanted to tell you guys this. So if you have been so good at math your whole life, and then you go to U of A, take a math class and do terribly, know that it's probably not you. It's just the professors and the way the classes are structured. So yeah, I've struggled like crazy in my math classes this past couple of years and a ton of my other friends did too and have to retake the math classes so it's just like a well-known thing that the math department sucks at U of A. What sucks about that is a lot of math classes are required for your major and some majors have to take specific math classes and a lot of them are terrible 
So um, just be aware of that. In the beginning, if you do start falling behind and need help, get help right away. So that way you can manage to pass the class and get out of that class right away. So yeah, that's a pretty common one. Everyone knows the math department sucks. So the next pro is the food. I think we have so many great food options on campus for both quick and also healthy options, but especially what makes it great. I mentioned this and I think my why you should go to U of A video, but you could put money on like your cat card and use that to go to restaurants like around campus and it kind of works out as like your meal plan type of thing. So I really like that option and a lot of my friends do too because you're not staying to just small certain options on campus. So you have a lot more variety and I we have good food like Chick-fil-A. Every time I tell my friends that we have Chick-fil-A on campus, they get really jealous. But people love that we have Chick-fil-A. But yeah, there's just a lot of really good options on campus for food and great healthy choices as well. So yeah, I think that's a huge pro. And the next con I have is that the safety, not the campus's safety, but just more so like the sketchiness of Tucson. Tucson can be pretty sketchy. There's a lot of like homeless people around and there is a couple situations this past year with like sketchy Uber drivers and assaults and stuff. So that was like a scary time for all of us, but I really did feel like the campus did a lot to kind of help us feel more safe on campus. And they sent out like so many emails and we have Safe Ride where you can call so that way you don't have to walk home alone at night you can call them and it's a free service to get you from point a to point b so i use that a lot i feel like they did do a lot to kind of make sure we were safe and this isn't even with our campus but like in my apartment that we lived in even when we were going down at night to go out there were security making sure that we were safe and we got into the right uber little things like that like i felt like they were doing a lot to make sure that we were safe a lot of stuff that the school can't control like all these things happening but i did feel like they did do a lot to make us feel safer so that's one thing tucson could be sketchy and my last couple of pros, I wanted to mention our rec center because our rec center, I'm pretty sure, is one of the best in the country. I think it's like second, I don't know. I, I heard, I've heard this a while ago, but it's like one of the best um, rec centers in the country. And it's so nice. It's huge. It's a great gym. And even though a lot of people go there, it's really big. So you could always find some equipment to use. And just know that there's different times where a lot of people are there. I know like at night is when it's like really packed. So maybe just find a time during the day where you don't have class to go. But I think the rec's really nice. I mentioned this in other videos too. But there is something for everybody. If you don't want to be a part of Greek life, I know it's not for everyone. There are so many different options and things to get involved in. And that I always say it's my number one um, recommendation for anyone to do is get involved wherever you guys go. It will make your experience 10 times better. So just find something that interests you and just get involved and really use all the resources that U of A has to offer to find something that you like and yeah, get involved. But those are all of my pros and cons at U of A. I'm sure there are more, but I was trying to brainstorm with me and my friends and we honestly couldn't think of any specific cons that really stood out to us. So if you guys have any more pros and cons, please leave them down below if you know of any to help anyone else out. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.